What's up everyone? I'm Jesse Kazam and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm going to be giving some of my thoughts and opinions on how to get over gear fear, uh, something that a lot of new players struggle with in the game. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. Uh, all my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. We also have a Discord, which is a great place to ask questions, uh, get some help, or even find some people to raid with. So all those links will be down below. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So just like in almost all of my videos, there isn't one singular magic trick that's going to instantly get you over gear fear. It's always going to be a progression. Um, and the TLDR of this video is play the game more and play with purpose. Um, you know, if that's all you were here for, then that's that. But if you'd like to stick around, I'd like to talk a little bit about how to play with purpose, uh, why I actually think uh, Gear Fear is a healthy part of the game, um, and all sorts of stuff like that. Obviously, if you've been playing for a while and you don't really struggle with this, maybe this video is not for you. And as a disclaimer, these are, you know, like we said in the intro, these are my kind of thoughts and opinions. Everybody plays the game differently, but I think that some of these practices will help uh, kind of, you know, shape what Tarkov is supposed to be and help you kind of get to that place where you uh, fear losing your gear a little bit less. Um, so first of all, like I said, I think Escape from Tarkov uh, necessitates gear fear, right? That's that's kind of the whole point of the game. That's the draw of the game is that at any moment I can lose my gear. Uh, I can lose something that they're, the bigger the risk means the greater the reward. You know what I mean? When you kill an, one single enemy or a squad of dudes, no matter what, you feel good about the fact that you know that that cost them something and now you get to benefit from that. Uh, it's not just getting a kill streak or anything like that. Games that do that are fine, but the point of Escape from Tarkov is the risk. Uh, so having the fear of losing that gear um, is necessary and it's a good thing. I think when it becomes a problem is when we are completely unwilling to use gear uh, forever, when we're completely un uh, um unwilling to try new things and we start to just accumulate a stash full of things that takes up valuable inventory space and never gets used. I've had my first a few wipes, um, the game wiped and I had a stash full of cool guns that I never had the courage to use or a stash full of really good armors that I never had the courage to use and they didn't benefit me at all because the game wiped and they just got deleted and I missed the opportunity to try out some of those things. Um, now, the uh, I think there's a really important distinction between gear fear and trying to understand how the mechanics of the game work. My personal story is that I was kind of brand new to PC gaming. So there was a lot of times where it wasn't just that I was afraid to lose the gear. It was that I was afraid to lose the gear without even the ability to like learn anything from that experience. If I was still trying to figure out what the extracts are or how they work or where are they or something like that, then I'm not going to bring out, you know, this amazing gun that I just so happened to get on a scav raid or something like that. You know what I mean? So uh, I think there is a difference there. So figure out what category you're in. Once you get a basic understanding of Tarkov, uh, you should absolutely start to bring out some good gear. Now, some people will tell you, you should always be using the best gear you have always. And I used to say that I don't think that it has to be that way. Even still now with millions of rubles and tons of experience in the game, if I die over and over and over again, that can be pretty berating. That's pretty brutal. And sometimes I'll take out a budget kit. So I would say once you have a fundamental understanding of the game, start to find a balance between um, bringing out budget and low tier kits and bringing out some of your best stuff. Um, and, and really start to see and allow the game to play itself out. You might, you just might get into an encounter where you get shot a ton in the chest and your armor absorbs it. And you think, wow, I would have lost that fight if I didn't have this armor or a gun with really good ammo or really low recoil. And you're able to win more fights because of that. Um, of course, you're still going to lose, uh, your best gear. And that is part of getting over gear from here or is experiencing that experiencing having your absolute best kit on getting one tapped out of nowhere, you never even got to fire that gun, how frustrating that is, and then getting to a place where you have a kit like that again. That circle of losing everything or losing your favorite thing, continuing to play the game and getting back to a place where you have either the money to buy those things again or you were able to get those items again, that circle repeated countless times will over time really start to kind of give you the... Um, the experience of Tarkov and help get you over gear fear. Uh, scav runs are also a great way to um, kind of supplement that. 
and you can use scav runs with a purpose. If you've got no money, you can hop in your scav raid, run right out, take that gear, slap it on your PMC, and now you've got a free kit. Or uh, what I started doing when I started getting proficient enough to have a decent enough cash flow that I could at least continue to play on my PMC, what I would start to do is use my scav runs to try out gameplay styles that I wasn't used to. I started being really aggressive as my scav. And I know I don't have armor, but sometimes you can get really good guns. And um, that would allow me to like test that out without risking my own hard-earned loot uh, for it. And just being like, okay, well, that was a wash. What did I learn from that experience? Um, so you can use your scav uh, to your advantage. You can alternate scav PMC, scav PMC. Normally the timing of that works out if you can stay in a raid for a decent bit and then kind of derp around your stash. Um, but use scav runs and use them with a purpose. You know what I mean? Um, let that be continuing to better yourself as a player. Um, Playing with friends is also a great way. Uh, maybe getting a Sherpa or uh, even hopping into Discord. There's tons of amazing Discords uh, beyond mine. Um, a lot of the community has really full Discords of people who are willing to Sherpa or just catch some raids, people who learn together. Uh, even if you're learning together, it can be two sets of eyes is better than one. You might be um, more uh, able to survive some more raids or even just learn together. You know, I found that streaming this game helps me a lot because I, it helps me like channel my anger and kind of laugh stuff off with the chat and being able to play with a friend can allow you to do some of those things as well. Now, it's really easy to say, you know what I mean, from the point of being an experienced player now, you know, just do these things and you'll get over gear fear. I think uh, it's it's also important to address that the fear is that you go all the way down to zero dollars. You have no gear. You have no money. And that's the fear. Then it's this useless game that I wasted my money on. Um, and yes, that is a real fear that could happen. You have options, though. Um, the game tries to take care of you there. If you get too low, the game will actually send you care packages with loot in it. Um, you have your scav runs, even just with a little bit of money, pistol runs and stuff like that can be uh, pretty effective. And learning some loot runs that don't require keys, don't require upfront money, might help you uh, build a way to get some cash flow in so that you can supplement purchasing other things. And then once again, even looking externally to discords or friend groups of people who can help you out with gear or help, you know, Sherpa you through raids to get some gear. I think the biggest thing for me is using the game's current state to your advantage. Um, a lot of new players struggle with the fact that Escape from Tarkov wipes periodically, but I found that that was incredibly encouraging. No matter how bad I messed up my character, no matter how low my survival rate was, I knew that in whatever amount of months the game was going to wipe and I was going to be able to take all the knowledge and experience that I had learned and then start fresh and then start fresh and then start fresh. And so if you think about it that way, yes, you might get to a place where you have a few million rubles and all that gets wiped and that can be frustrating. But this allows you to um, take risks, do things, push yourself as a player, um, use that stuff that you start to collect, those good armors, those good guns, and use them to add to your experience in Tarkov and learn as much as you can. And you're going to be able to go into the next wipe much, much more confident. Um, so that's really it. I hope that this um, helped encourage you a little bit that uh, it's not, you know, one all the way one side or the other. It's not gear fear doesn't exist and it's not just use your best gear always. Um, but it's really about finding the way that you like to play, you like to learn and utilizing the tools that are around you to become better playing with purpose playing with a goal in mind is always going to push you towards getting better uh, i've talked before about using replay buffers or something like that to be able to break down your own gameplay and you will you will realize that even though it can be brutal and they can have a lot of really low lows eventually you'll start to pick things up and it'll get more fun uh, so yeah hopefully this encouraged you and helped give you some tips to help get over gear fear in escape from tarkov Thanks for checking out the video. Drop a like if you liked the video and think about subscribing for more content like this. Uh, feel free to drop a comment down below if you have any questions or if there's any guides you'd like to see me make here in the future. I'm always trying to create content that helps shorten the learning curve of Escape from Tarkov and gets you and your raids having fun as soon as possible. Thank you again for stopping by and I'll definitely see you all on the next one.